just wanted to shoot a video um, before uh, I play the footage from the weekend. Uh, we went out into a farm and bought an Aladdin collection and I want to show you some of the videos or some of the uh, lamps that we bought. So I got this really nice white majestic here and it's really finishes nice and it really completes my set so I'm pretty happy with that. And then we come down here to these queens. So I got a green moonstone queen in very good finish. And then a white moonstone with a poor finished foot. Um, I think I'll have to fix that up. It's, you know, it's not worth a ton of money now since it's not in great shape. Did get this nice number seven. Um, burner on it wasn't great. So I took one off another one I had and made a really nice clean example. Got a few in the background there. I got a few... Uh, you know, new style ones, so I put them in there. Uh, got that Oriental. Got a new style clear tall Lincoln drape. No big value there. Did get another scallop blue tall Lincoln drape. Uh, and I got a second red one to the right. It's actually very nice red. Uh, a little bit better than the one to the left, which I previously had. I did get a, the uh, Simplicity, the Gold Lusture, and this white painted one. Both those really not easily available in Canada. These white alicite ones, you can find them everywhere. Same with the Deco Comania ones, very common. The green Artichoke Shade. That's the shade from that, uh, I said uh, 6, 7 in the other video to follow, but it's actually 7, 8. I just kind of walk and talk and chew gum. It's hard sometimes. Moving over here, um, bottom row, I got that pink Washington drape, and that really completes that set. I got these bell stem drapes, never had those. Those are fairly rare in Canada, haven't seen too many of those. I did complete my vertiques here, as you can see, with that, uh, with that green one, which is supposed to be really common. I see them everywhere, but I just had a hard time finding them. I got another white one. It's in the back. Uh, moving up to the top row in the uh, Corinthians. Uh, really just got that pink one and this white one. And this white one has a slightly different connector than this white one. So I have it up there as well. Ah, uh, the uh, beehive. So I have this nice red one. And I got this light. Wow, well, it's hard to say what color it is. It's like an amber. It's like an olive. Really nice. My uh, wife likes it. Pretty happy with that. And I also got that uh, white uh, cathedral there. Uh, kind of completes the set of the cathedral. So coming down to short strokes here on some of these sets, uh, you know, the ones that are easily affordable. Uh, moving over to, I have that Coaches and Four, the original one from the 40s, 50s. It's on an electrified burner. I got this one here too, so this is quite nice. So this is a, a green one, uh, green and silver. It kind of really works well with that green base, floor base. So it works real well. So overall, I had a great weekend uh, acquiring lamps once again, and uh, got to build some more shelf space pretty soon. Well, enjoy the video coming up. Okay, we're here at the. Aladdin house as we're going to call it from now. So this is a collection that uh, we're going to acquire and we're just in the midst of sorting stuff right now and we're in a room full of pieces and parts and everything under the rainbow so we're just going to hand it out and sort it and go over it piece by piece. We're just kind of making a path to get to the parts and it's a box of mantles chimney uh, mantles and wicks it looks like all right mantles and wicks you want to grab those and put those in a corner somewhere and keep going this is a box of Flatwick stuff. Not too interested in Flatwick stuff. We're just going to bypass that for now. Comforter. Box of 
eh, burner parts, etc. There's a 12 slant side in there. Just, just a piece box. We'll keep that the way it is, and we'll piece lamps together with that stuff. Ninety day limited warranty. Probably over by now. So what do we got here? Oh, hanging shade. Looks like for a one, two, three. I think it's a two, two fifteen. I think is what it is. You know what? I'm just gonna go like this. Hand them off. It's a six one five. It looks like. Oh, I could use one of those, so that's for a 6.7 series. Let's just put some of this other stuff over here. Oh, there's two of them, so that's a pair, so that makes it easy to deal with. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more Crocs in the corner. Yes. More Crocs, yes. eh? Okay, I'm going to have to get a hold of my Croc guy. Aha, new Aladdin calories. Canned salmon, yeehaw. I love canned salmon and tuna. So this is what every Aladdin owner needs because these things get the, the brunt of everything. Yeah, these are the Aladdin style. So these are the new reproduction ones, but they're, they're great. They're, you know, they're better than an old dented up, hacked yep. up one, so. And that makes it easy. There's uh, six boxes, so that's a pretty easy divvy, divvy up. Oh boy. Okay, looks like we got a few shade holder tripods here. Just a few. There's some uh, there's some rail ones in there, but they might be handy if you ever get into collecting some rails. Oh. Exactly what you want. Uh, ball, nice. ball type. Matador? Yeah, it's the original or original the ball type, yeah. Well, some of these may not be Aladdins. Like, that's definitely not an Aladdin. Because that's a that's more of a... Um, that's going to be a Matador style for from Europe for, for, for a German Brenner lamp. So, actually, I have a use for that one because I have a Brenner lamp at home. And it's got the wrong chimney on it. So, this is literally a box of chimneys. So... We'll go through those and we'll just probably take them like that because it's pretty handy. Yep. These are flat wick chimneys. Um, might be a couple of those in there I might want, but really this is not our, our ball of wax here. But we'll take these out because they're in the way. Uh, Aladdin chimneys once again. Uh, there's a broken. We got a dead soldier here. Uh, let's find a box that we can dump the dead soldier into. Too bad. No, that's bad. These old ones are super fragile. Uh, I sold one to uh, a collector the other day, an original one, yeah. and he came all the way up from Oakville to buy it. Right. And I put it into a new style box, and he gets home and he drops it on the front floor and it shatters oh. in the box. Oh. Oh, so, an expensive box. yeah, and I, I was telling him I got new ones for $32 tax included or original old one for 40 So he took the old one. The original, the new ones, now you can take, you can throw that box outside the room. They will not break. They are such, these old ones are just, they look nice, but they're not that good. That's just garbage, I guess. Okay, you won't need chimneys for a couple of years. How's that? Ah, uh, here's the... Here's the burner collection that we need for all those lamps. Wow, there you go. Wow. So that's what we can do is we'll march that out. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start going over all those lamps and start uh, putting burners on every lamp that needs it. Let's start off with the really nice, more expensive lamps and the better quality burners. And then what we can do is... Um, We'll uh, we'll pair the you know the beat up uh, chimneys with let's say the uh, B75s uh, Lincoln drapes because they're not really worth a whole lot because there's so many of them out there. Oh my God, this weighs a ton. This weighs a lot. Careful. Yeah. Right. Oh, lots of Crocs. Lots of Crocs. 
that over there. I'll be home for Christmas. Aha. You like that too, right? Hopefully there's two. We don't have to we might have to flip we might have to flip a coin. You know, I, I want you to be my friend for a long time, so I, I don't well, that's definitely a coin flip. Okay, looks like we got some model B's. Those are nice. Let's hope we can find the uh those are a pair too, those are nice. Brackets. Yeah, see, we can, I'll guarantee the brackets are going to be here. You don't want to throw this out. Oh, no. Oh, I have a whole bunch of gaskets in that box there. I got yep. you a bag of gaskets. A bag of gaskets. Bag of gaskets. Oh, high altitude, new in box. That's really nice. Yeah. Oh, and there's two floor lamps. That makes it easy. One each. Uh, high altitude. That's a 60s era part. Nice. Oh, so the high altitude in my new style one, it makes noise. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It, it goes... It pulls that much? Yeah, it pulls that much. It makes noise. And to the point where if you're watching a quiet movie, it drives me crazy. So I have put a regular one in to <laughs> sacrifice. More chimneys? Uh, looks like we have... More chimneys. Okay, we're doing pretty good with the chimneys so far. And there's a box over there on the other side of the room. I know it's full of chimneys. I saw my picture. Chimneys again. That's what you need to do is get those wine boxes for it. That's it. I got to go out and drink a whole load of wine <laughs> before. Going to get, gonna get, lo get all loaded. Look at these minis. Oh, I remember having one of these as a kid. My dad bought me one and I broke this piece right off the bat. These are cute. So you just put those in your bedside table. So in the past, you had mini lamps because you'd put out the big one, but you need a little one to get you to your bed and then you just right. blow that out, right? right? This isn't really what I agreed to buy. So uh, maybe we can uh, just put that aside somewhere where it's not part of what I was looking to acquire from this collection. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 yeah. If you're, if you want some of these, let us know. I can always call them up and make them an offer on the mini lamps. Like there's hundreds of mini lamps here. Uh, these shades may be important though. These shades, I go think, with those mini lamps? it might go with those um, Aladdinette lamps. There's two Aladdinette lamps in the other room, which was the candlestick style. Aladdin had a just basically a cotton with a wick and you'd fill it full basically it was your bedside lamp yep. the, Those might go with it. So uh, We'll put those back in here for now and we're gonna double back because uh, we'll, we'll put all the mini lamp washes together and then we can... Yeah, maybe we'll make them an offer and say hey, I'll give you an extra bit of cash for flat wick chimneys once again These are all flat wick chimneys here. Uh, that is not. It's not a flat wick. No, nope, that's an Aladdin. Again, we'll do everything. Yeah, I'm just going to put this one aside for now, and we'll we'll go through this box. We're going to put it right here. We'll go through the flat wick stuff. Make sure there's no Aladdin stuff in it. Flat wick chimneys. Yeah, if he has any jumbo ones for like. Uh, Oh yeah, I want to take a look here. For example, this is what I'm. This is what I want over here too. Okay, that is definitely the wrong. It's missing everything. And give that to you for a second. So this is a mammoth lamp, yep. and that is definitely the wrong hanger for it because it's supposed to it's supposed to grab around the outside perimeter here, uh, missing its complete gallery. Uh, wick razor appears to be intact. And uh, it's split on the bottom. It's too bad. Uh, hard to say. It looks like it's about an 1890s. Oh, it's got the fuel level thing on it. Like mm -hmm. that's pretty, pretty smart. Like yeah. you, you know exactly where you're at. So that burns like supposed to be some. I can't remember what the specs were on what it's supposed to produce, but uh, it's like a like a 5,000 BTU heater plus. It's like you know a couple candle, a couple hundred candle watts of power. I bet you that one's some kerosene quickly. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a gu gas guzzle. Oh, that's yeah. 
that's the uh, gas guzzler. I, as I said, I bought one of those off Steve, the, the guy in Scarborough, Steve the lamp guy, for $60 with a chimney, but complete, other than missing the, the, the drip plate on the bottom, mm -hmm. almost mint shape, 1897 um, for $60. It was a really good deal. And I ordered a flat wick, I ordered a wick for, him, for it too. So, looks like he's got cranberry or no. Old metal lamps. Wow, there we go. We got some Aladdins in here for sure. It, let's just uh, let's just leave this one here. We'll come back to it. It's definitely part of our our buy. Missing the drip tray there. So I'm looking for a number 11, one of these in nice nickel shape. I got a hanger at home that's missing that, so I'd like to complete that. But we'll leave that here. We'll come back. There's lamps in there for us. Flatwood chimneys. Let's just see if this is lying. Uh, well, I think what we need to do is we need to sort of leave as much in here as we can and get out what we need, and that way we can start sorting in there and then start packing. So there's, we definitely want to go through this one too as well too. I'm just going to put this over here with this. Um, same, these are more flat wicks uh, style. There's a flat wick guy out there who's going to be watching this. He's going to be calling me up and hunting me down. So, looks like that's a Coleman style, but that does fit Aladdin's. Oh, there's a, a number, that's for number 11. Is it correct? Yeah. So, say, got a badge. Yeah. Mess out on that. Yeah, put that in the. That should just go into the guard. You well, know what? Put it right up. Put it yeah, on. I was gonna say we're even here. Put it in there. Stuff. We're not gonna take it with no. us. Uh, there's more lamps in there. So that's for an 11 hanger. I have an 11. So if we want to make an 11 for you, that's good. Oh, we got another uh, Chippendale etched. I'm just gonna pull them out and put them back in. And another uh, 50111. So that's that's like the tenth 50111. There. We're going to be good on those. And this entire box is got to be full of chimney, uh, full of uh, shades. Flat wick. You, know, you know what we can do too, eh? We can take like that's an Aladdin. So what we can do is we can take this box, put all the Aladdin ones in, in here, and then put these into a different box yeah. since it's not being transported. Oh my God! More flat wick. I'm just gonna put the flat wick right there for now. Just the flat wick chimneys. We can go through those again. We'll have to go through everything again a second time to make sure there's no Aladdin stuff in here. Here we go. Bob's your uncle. Just put this over here too. That's probably a typewriter in there. Nice. All right. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? We got. Can't remember the number on that one. Definitely not my favorite. It's a drape style one, but that's uh, definitely Aladdin. Uh, same, same as that. Same as that. I don't think I have that one. Uh, Is that a nine? That's a 5019 side. I'm not sure, but there's two. There's two. So you go. You want to take both? Well, I don't know. Let me go ahead. Go, go ahead. Just. I don't want to break anything. Too bad. Already chipped, so. Okay. Well, let's make a pair. Let's chip a pair. All right. I think these are heat protectors that would go on s s large lamps. It would be a metal clip. Right. But you need to have something like that. That's what that kind of looks like. That's a Rayo style. We can grab that too because that <coughs> does definitely fit Aladdin's. I'm just going to work my way over. Here, I'm gonna, ooh, this one here is also garbage. And it's cracked? Oh, yeah. You see it right around the... Right yeah, oh, yeah, right yeah. Just the... put that in the crack pile. Oh. Well, wow, these are all new shades. So these are all the, these are new style uh, shades for the, um, with it, this has the bigger fitter. Yeah, yeah, but this is the 10 inch fitter and the other yeah. one was like nine and a yeah, quarter. These, these are repro, they're not. The yeah, but there's a full box of them, which, which is great because uh, the, eBay. Oh, I'm going to use those because oh. if you break them, who cares, right? Because they're new production. Yeah. Oh. 
That's nice, eh? Yep. I'm not too, too interested in off-brand ones. I don't know about you. Here's a swirl. This one's nice. I'll give you that too. Well, looks like we got some made in Canada. So these are for hurricane style kerosene lanterns. There's a rusty old tripod. I don't think we really want that too badly. That can go to the auction service. Whoa! So, I'm just going to put this over here. Because this is pretty much a box of Aladdins, which is what we need. What do we got here? Oh, so that's an early, that's a four. Looks like that's a four. Uh, four looks like it's got the lettering on it, so it's a four transitional. Uh, another four. Um, none of these have their wick rate, uh, their flame spreaders, unfortunately. So we're going to need to look for flame spreaders. Uh, a ten. So tens are fairly rare because they ran them really not even for a full year, but it's really not in. The yeah. best shape in the universe, and it's missing the flame spreader. I mean, they're good for parts. And is this? Oh, that's a that's a ten hanger. So that's pretty rare. Um, same thing, missing the flame spreader. Nickel finish is not the greatest on it, but it still has good value. All right, push that one back. Uh, what do we got here? We got a mixed bag of. Looks like 12s and 11s and 6s and model 23 burner in the bottom. That's kind of cool. Vapo Crestline. So here's uh, one of those. Um, uh, Basically, it's a kerosene lamp that heats up medicine, and there's the medicine there right. on the side. So like you're feeling rub. sick. Yeah, there's two other ones Breathing. in the other room. Yeah, huh. like vapor rub, old yeah. school. Be nice to find some. What the heck is this? This is a. It's hard to even see. Looks like that's a like a five. No, it's got to be a four because of this style. It's in the center. So. Oh, it's... It's got a six flame spreader. Oh, somebody painted this guy blue. That's good for your hunt cabin there. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, looks like it's a nine hang, a six or a nine? Yeah, it's a six with a nine flame spreader in it. There we go. Oh, I need one of these. That's in pretty good shape. That I got two of these at home, and, and two of them don't work. They, they're just busted, so they're like parts. Uh, this is for one of those lamps over there on the floor. Yeah, that's like, I think it's a, I can't remember the number on that one. Salt and pepper, anybody? These are not quite Aladdin stuff. Another one of those. Oh, here we go. That makes it easy. I always want to get one of those um, Coleman Carol lights, like just the base, and then Frankenstein one of those on, and then so you can use the burner. Yeah, and then use an Aladdin burner. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. This is an original. Not in the best shape in the universe. Chipped galore. I'm sure that'll clean up nights. So original 30s style. Or not style, original 30s. Oh, okay, so this is a whole... We're going to have to go through this. Oh, this yeah. is sixes and... 11s and these are the common 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 ones these are really ten dollar lamps these days oh 
electrified. This is definitely Aladdin stuff. That one is not, but we'll sort through this outside. Just more metal lamps. Well, we're getting there. We're putting a dent in the place. All right, moving along. These are not, that's a CNR style, pretty rusty. Let that go to auction. Uh, what do we got here? This is a ball. Now, Aladdin did do some ball shades, but that's just a clear ball shade. I don't think that's really pertinent to us as Aladdin guys. This is kind of cool. I have no idea what this is. Oh, that's a railway. I was just saying, is that a railway? That's a railway. Or... Yeah, it's a railway one. Um, did you look at this already? Uh, okay. No, I d Yes, I did. Yeah, because I put... No, I, no, we didn't, because that's a swirl. That's a... No, we have to go through that. So that, that's definitely a Latin. Yes. So this is kind of cool. I'll just put this over here. That is a railway lamp of some variety. Uh, uh, there's stuff in there that we don't... Yeah, we're gonna go. We're, we're we're trying to sort through some of it here, so that way we're. Well, this is almost like an Egyptian piece. Very nice, very nice part. I don't collect that stuff. Sorry. I'm just gonna pull out all the cast iron stuff because there's definitely Aladdin stuff in the bottom. Once I get to it, ah, there we go. We got a match pair. Yep. One. One. Well, this we can buy reproduction, right? I know they're, they're, making... they're thirty bucks, but. It really is nice to have one that's together and you see these older ones you can actually change the size of them mm -hmm. to a certain degree you know that just fell right apart but so well we're getting to the bottom of this box cast iron box we're getting into oops what is that under there uh, it's a rayo it's a rayo rayo sunshine what do we got here? So we have electric converters. Looks like we got more mantles. We have some smoke bells. Mm -hmm. uh, brass burner sales code. Uh, so that's an N. So that's a 23 brass. So that's a good new part. Whatever that is, it's oh, they're bugs. They're dead. More good stuff here. Oh, the bag of caps. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We got some ins. Good, good deal. Uh, some other caps. So all this is part of our booty. This stuff, no, we'll pull that out outside. Ah. So this in mint shape in the box is worth, a, a, the. it's probably worth about 40 bucks. So I really don't know what kind of shape it's in. There's an 11 wick, they're very common. Got a few of these at home, one for sure. There's an arrowhead here. That's pretty nice. I'll leave that there. It's not part of my taking. And uh, these are supposed to. Mantles. Yeah, these. Well, they say they're mantles, but there's something else in here, and I don't know what. I'm just gonna open this up. Oh, it's Coleman parts, so it's part of the. Uh, a Coleman. Yeah, it's Coleman parts. So we'll just. You know what? Let's just leave that for the Coleman guy who wants to come along. Moving on quite along here. Uh, there's another hanger one and there's another one here oh we're doing good on those you shouldn't need those for a while this is interesting well it is I'm gonna put this aside this is not part of our fare that most definitely is oh yeah well, it looks like I can be reselling these for a while. So we got some, you know, some three lines, three line models there. So there's 30s, 40s, a couple of those in there. Got some heelless styles, uh, straight Aladdin. So those are probably 50s with that logo, uh, three line with logo, locks on base. And the rest of these are all 
let's just take a closer look at one of these. So there we got boxes of these. So these are all, oh, just the heelless. These are heelless, so these are good. So these will fit all the new style ones. So you can run these on the Max Bright 500s, so no problem. All right, there you go. Moving along. This box is now officially empty, nothing in it. Oh, I didn't even get to that box. Oh, we got mystery box, glass. Okay, what are you gonna guess? Take guesses here. Chimneys. Chimneys? Nope. Oh, more lamps. Nope, more lamps. Looks like we got a... Pink? Yeah, we got a pinkish B75 plus a really nice burner. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. So that's a, that's a Nashville B burner. So that actually belongs on one of those simplicities. Uh, but we'll send it all out like this. And there's another burner in the back there. And it's a, uh, made in USA, Nashville. So that's a Nashville B. Their burners had better days. It's probably not the original burner, but that's sort of what the original satin finish is like on those. I don't think these are as good as the, uh, Chicago. Like that's actually split. You can actually see that it's splitting. So those Nashville ones they're cranking out were really not as good as the Chicago. Made by probably another, made by Plum and Atwood or another company. All right, so this is where we're going to have to do some repairs on some of these. Uh, but you know, but put a cap on that, put a contemporary burner on it, and it'll be a good lamp for somebody for 40 bucks or whatever, for whatever we can get for those later. And what do we got here? Number 11. I was going to say it's in very good shape, but it's got a huge divot on the base, so not so good. Not so good yet. Yeah, it's, it's, part, it's a parts lamp now, unfortunately. That's what happens. All right, moving along. Another green artichoke. Those look really nice when you light those up, but that's probably one of the prettier shades that they make, that they made in the past. That's a Brazilian C and it's, it's unfortunately it's cracked. That would be actually a $150 font, but with that crack in the bottom, it's uh, $0. It's, it's um, I don't know, the cap maybe? Artwork. The cap? Yes. Oh, here we go. So we have a amber uh, Washington drape filigree that needs a repair, but uh, that's a, that'll be easy to fix. And that's a, that's a good looking lamp. It's a nice light amber color. Uh, new style, new style 615, new style 615, very heavy, good workhorse, just don't drop it or it's garbage. Uh, what do we got? Uh, we got some more, boy, I got a stack of these at home already. Uh, 23 aluminums, probably caboose or uh, cabin or camp style. That's just a, uh, just, we're getting there. Boy, this one is, looks like it's had the salt put to it. Wow. Is that ever, well, that's, that's what they did eh, then, right? Yeah, the salt, the salt treatment. Wow, we got some table lamps here. Well, this one's actually got a price on a Labin as is. Looks like thirty-five dollars. Well, wow! You try to get one for thirty-five dollars. Well, it's had better days. It's it's broken here. The top piece is dented. It's a it it you know what? It's a it's a parts lamp, but honestly, this is probably a maybe a fifty-dollar lamp as it sits. It's just it's actually not that good. This one here, on the other hand, looks to be like a better guy. Oh, it's super rusty on the bottom. So this is like a $50 one. Um, it's, this is a prime candidate for, oh, I guess I'd restore that. I wouldn't, it, it's already been, looks like it's been painted once. So it's unfortunately, but you just take the bo bottom off glass, beat it and hit it with some paint. All right, the hanging lamps. A squashed up, uh, that's really not worth much at all. No. Maybe you want to have that in your shed. No. This is a painted, somebody painted one of these, so I don't know what, 
that's really worth at this point because it's supposed to be nickel finish so it's really not that great and it looks like we got a six hanger there it's had better days pretty rusty I don't know I don't think we're gonna do well for the hanging lamps in here no we've got a lot of shades though so there's probably the, one of the most common lamps ever made at least it's available in Canada and then we got another another one here these are like 30 40 dollar lamps like the, the burner is really worth the, the money okay so this one here we can definitely put a shade on so that's a number six uh looks like it's nickel on brass combo with a homemade smoke bell uh, that'll, that'll that'll make clean up if you polish it two more tilts you got one there that's not too bad another one that's definitely had better a better life so that would be for an 11 so we definitely have the shade for that uh, probably not worth a whole lot in the condition it's in another tilt this one is kind of strange somebody's kind of looks like somebody's kind of sandblasted that with media or something like that it's got a great kind of feel to it and we have a cathedral here uh, looks like it needs a thread repair yeah might be able to clean that one up mm. yeah no you can put a thread in that it's not a problem I can I can do that that's easy to do another tilt frame there well I think let's just move our way this way a little bit ah these are pumps that you'd pump a, a Coleman lamp with because they didn't have the pump built onto it uh, yeah that's really not what we came to get all right I think on yeah I think I went through all this and kind of piled everything here so may want to look through these pictures here Do I leave my phone in the car too? I don't know. I'm gonna go out and just double check that. Gotta send the croc guy some pictures later today. Hold on. Okay, I think that really. Wow. Is that what we're at right now? You gotta be kidding me. We haven't even packaged up lamps yet. All right, um, wow, oh boy, All right, I'm just going to pause this for now so we can regroup here and try to come up with a plan how to pair everything up and get everything out of here in one piece without destroying it. So I'm just going to pause for now. Okay, looking at the lamps here, we got the burners on all the lamps except for a few. It's coming together. Now we're starting the process of packaging and getting these guys out of here. It may take another six hours at this rate. You might be sleeping in this town for another night. But uh... Okay, this is about, uh, I don't know, hour 
yeah, seven or eight or nine here at this point, and we're running down on the Aladdin. So these are just the old formulas, and these are the fresh formulas, and everything else in the room is pretty much uh, flat wick, and I didn't really agree to buy the flat wick, so we're leaving those there. Um, you know, we're just going through the one onlys over here, so we got a pink drape. We have a, this is the only uh, cathedral in, in uh, green. Um, lots of whites. Uh, we got a Victoria. We've got a uh, mint seven with a flame uh, spreader, all intact, and then this Really, really super nice um, uh, treasure, but it's a Chicago and it's brass and it's like perfect shape. We still got to fi figure out what's going on with these um, um, the simplicities, and then we still have to go through Venetians and then uh, more drapes in the back, um, and then. Uh, we're going to be going through the rest of this stuff over here, which is essentially uh, a small field of uh, tin lamps, uh, sixes, nines, elevens. There's some tens in there. There's some there's some nice stuff in there, and, and then we have some one onlys over there. There are ones we couldn't pair out. We're going to go go through those, but I don't know. I figure we've done probably there's probably about 200 lamps here uh, at least and uh, we've gone through most of it and we're going to end up having to stay the night and uh, finish packing them and then leave in the morning and you know we got one full-size pickup filled and then a uh, you know a cargo van not a cargo van yeah a minivan filled and then we went and got a u-haul and we're going to put some boxes in that and uh, we're going to be able to digest this between two uh two Aladdin collectors and uh, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of lamps to uh, you know get back out in circulation because these guys were sitting at this farmhouse probably for the last 25 years minimum uh, probably longer and they just been sitting here and I don't want to say they were hoarded they were collected and they were probably bought at a very good price and um, you know we, we stepped up and we did give them some some really good money for this stuff and it's going to take us years, really, to get rid of this uh, collection. Not get rid of it, but I mean to, tr you know, trade it and and such. But um, so there's going to be a lot of nice lamps out there uh, that so you know instead of in somebody's closet or you know hidden away. And we found them all over the place. Like we found some, uh, you know, in a garbage bag in the garage on the floor. Found a colonial um, amber there. We also found a Venetian one piece in the garage in a pail. Not sure why it was sitting there, uh, but it came out and it's perfect. Uh, you know, it might need a, like a filler cap on it and a clean up and maybe a you know a burner clean up, but uh, it's going to be good. So overall, this has been you know a really really good um, you know find for you know us Aladdin guys. And there's stuff that you know you know you know when we, I'm going to have to go in with this with somebody else just because you know it's not the money, it's just the the space and the time to deal with all this collection and uh, you know so we get down to these one only's like you know I've been collecting for 20 years and I've never seen one of these in the field these are only available in the states so when I go in the states I find these so somebody brought this up these are not easy to find and uh, that's actually a pink drape it's got a light pink tinge to it you can't really see it that well in this light I'll, maybe I'll bring that over to the uh, well, yeah, there you go. Hope you can see that well. So that's a pink Washington drape. Fairly rare. It's got a nice burner on it and everything. And that's uh, that was found with the burner on it. So that's original as it comes. A really nice lamp. Anyhow, um, hope you're enjoying this. I'm, my back is killing me, and uh, but. Uh, and my wife is hating me because I'm going to bring home a whole bunch of lamps. But uh, I'm going to figure out how to do this without uh, getting divorced. So. Without dying. Without dying, Dave. Without dying. <laughs> without dying. Thanks, Evo. Without dying. This is still recording, by the way. <laughs> I know it is. Without, without dying. dying.